And after getting ahead, 0-2. Oh, and he said this unequivocally is Alex Bregman. Although that one was close, and Alex took it for a called strike. A hitting streak. Springer on the move. Altuve swings and misses. And George has himself a steal. He picked up a steal on the last home three for seven against Clevenger in his career. And that's a little foul tip that caught a piece of the bat. And then Perez caught the baseball. So a strikeout. Fastball gets him up as he picks up three strikeouts after an opening. Tenth start on the season. It's tied for that league leading to as far as winning percentage. He has yet to take a defeat. Okay, Cabrera hit six. Jason Kipnis, Roberto Perez, and Greg Allen. He didn't have anything to get the swing and miss on left-handed hitters. Oh, forget it. Curveball break. Might have been the change. Did he sneak one in there? I think he might have. Here's a ground ball into the shift. Correa has to jump over Altuve, and he still makes the play. It's been 50 years since we're seeing a four-game series with this kind of pitching. As Just when A.J. Hinch thought it would go away, yeah. they match up on Sunday against former collegiate teammates. Hey, there's the first hit of the night, Yuli Gurriel. With a Popped up on the infield. And they're going to let it drop and basically trade base runners. Saw that done by Altuve against the Rangers. This ball into right field where Melky Cabrera waits and puts it away for the final out. Yeah, it's always good to have that extra excitement in the city. Swing and a miss. Morton makes Encarnacion with five strikeouts against Charlie. And with that in mind, he's going to bunt against the shift, and that's perfect. Charlie's going to go territory. And a bunt single for Yonder Alonso. There's a swing and a miss. The nasty curveball gets another. That game at Minute Maid Park. Here's a ball sliced towards the line. If this stays fair, it's extra bases. It's a fair ball and bounces into the crowd. That'll be a double for Springer. Chop towards short. Lindor will take it himself and turn a double play. That helped. We know that the Indians have been good in the month of May with their offense the Yankees with their offense and then coming back and four here's a ball hit to center field Jake going back still going back Marisnik reaches up makes the play it's because his lineup or his roster is very right-handed right now here's a ball into the gap Tony Kemp and Jake converge on it Jake will barehand it and keep the runner at third Towards the middle, pass to diving out to Bay. That'll score one. Here comes Lindor. Marisnik's throw is cut off. It is 2 0 Indians on the. Towards Correa, but they have no chance to turn the double play with the shift on. Towards short, nice play by Correa as he picks it up in the air. First time through the lineup, plus three batters, has allowed couple of hits in a walk as Correa sends one to right sending Cabrera to the track he's at the wall and he makes the play Marwin with a line drive base hit on a two strike pitch into right field that'll be the Astros third you can hear yourself here's ground ball towards second Kipnis Lindor and they turn two something they did in seven innings in his last outing as Cabrera bounces one past Jose Altuve into right field Springer bobbles it, and this may cause an extra base. Cabrera is out at second base. George Max has been raking lefties and not so much on the right side. Here's a ground ball towards Altuve. He will make the tag and the flip double play turned nicely by the Astros. Be that 300 plus batting average, that you know 800 OPS type guy. This is what they want. They want some quality ABs. Get on base every once in a while. Tony Kemp flied out to center field his first time up. Jake may have been leaning, and he's out run allowed despite a lot of base runners there goes Kemp the pitch is outside no throw by Roberto Perez Tony Kemp has himself a steal that's his second of the year breaking ball Bregman into left field pretty deep looking up is Brantley this ball's gone three run home run Alex Bregman that was an off speed pitch hanging up in the zone on a tee Alex Bregman Towards Lindor up the middle. The Indian shortstop makes the play. Altuve. Oh, that's 
a changeup that Carlos makes a great play on smothering. You had to say it. Didn't I you? did. I it was right there. It. it was right there. Tried to avoid it. Strike out on the curve. <laughs> two and two the count to Correa. There's the ball in the right field for a base hit. Carlos with a leadoff hit to start the sixth inning. He's now been near the bottom. Usual to say with this team. There's a ground ball on the right side. Correa is going to get to second. And a line drive. Base hit in the left field. Correa, good jump, but he'll be held up. Closing quickly is Michael Brantley. Good job against left handed hitters this season, a 148 average, but right handed hitters are hitting 346 off of him. Ground ball toward third, past the diving. Jose Ramirez in the left field. Stassian and the Astros lead this game four to two. New pitcher for the Indians is Neil Ramirez taking over in the sixth inning. Ramirez is the one guy coming out of that bullpen that makes that pitch that much nastier. This ball drilled into center field, sending Greg Allen all the way back to the wall, looking up, gone! Jake Marisnik. Jake from Rake Farm has come back with a bang. After being down 2 nothing, now a bunch of seven runs the last two innings. Kemp puts one on the ground. Kipnis is there. Tony is retired for the second half. Arms out there that are able to shut down offenses. There's a ball rocketed into right field for a base hit. Another hit for Springer. He's been on. There goes George. Pitch is taken for a ball. Head first slide. George is safe. His as Jose Altuve faces the new Indians pitcher, the right-hander Oliver Drake takes over. Drake, 31-year-old right-hander, acquired from the Milwaukee Brewers. <laughs> Altuve, a little pop fly in the shallow center, coming on Allen, and he will put it away for the final out. But swinging strike on the fastball. There's the curveball, which is the equalizer. Cabrera swings the first pitch and lost it almost exactly where Tony Kemp was. He drifts a few steps to his right, puts it away. And he's able to get Carlos chasing there. <laughs> you pointed to your left shin. Does that mean you oh, we'll have to talk about this later? You only just struck out two strikeouts in the inning. Charlie Morton tonight goes six innings. Allows two runs. Fastball command was not his best. I think he'll admit that after the game. First pitch, Rondon delivers to Kipnis, is sent deep to left center, left corner, and Tony Kemp makes a good catch against the fence, and he is down as he crashes into the wall. Tony Kemp has made great play after great play. Launches himself to get the ball, ends up colliding with the wall. <laughs> and if from every major league team, you are representing the Astros. I am. It'll be swinging a miss again on Friday night as well. Here's a ground ball with the shift, and Bregman has a long throw on the run, and with Allen Speed, no chance. Chop towards Altuve. Two big hops. Jose makes the play, and that'll throw that curve a little more to righties. 16 and a third innings. And three pitches and a strikeout for a 10 game winning streak. And another call, third strike. Here's Tony Kemp. Kemp with a little flair in the left center field. That'll be a base hit. Kemp now on the board. Everybody in the. Pitch, swing and a miss. McAllister gets Springer, and that'll do. Last time he was out there was back at home against these Cleveland Indians. Had an inning, two strikeouts. Needed to get outs from that bullpen because these guys are going into the seventh inning so consistently. How about that? A little three-pitch strikeout of hello there. Now Jose Ramirez. Or Ramirez may have been jammed a little bit, but he fights it off into center field. For a one out base hit. Supporting this team, it's been a lot of fun to call games there and see those fans get excited. Springer on the move had a good jump and he should even see that number bump up a little bit. Alonzo pops one high in the air. Bregman had a long run because he was in the ship, but he's there and puts, a, puts it away for the pin for Terry Francona. Josh Tomlin. Josh Tomlin getting demoted out of that starting rotation and being put into that bullpen. Planet without a hit. The catcher spot did pick up a big hit there when Max Dassey pinch hit for him. 
He grounds one to third. Low throw, but Altuve is retired. Array with a single and four at bat scored a run. He grounds one toward short. Tomlin gets three ground balls and a one, two, three top half of the ninth inning. No, at two, three, five. Ooh, the big breaking ball. Melky swings on top. So we'll miss you, buddy, but we wish you the best. That's going to be a lot of fun. We can't wait to hear the stories. I know you're staying at the beautiful. Swing some of the sticks that some of the greats swung. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Here's a ball rocketed, but right at Altuve. So that'll do it. A very nice start to this four-game series for the Astros.